Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie O. If you're new, I'd like for you to do me a favor, go down below and hit the red subscribe button. And while you're there, don't forget to click on the bell button so you also get a notification every time I post. We'd love for you to join the family, it's absolutely free. And if you're old, welcome back. Today's video is going to be, as the title suggests, a full face of expired makeup products. Guys, first of all, this is a disclaimer. I do not in any way encourage people to use expired makeup products on their skin just because a lot of people complain about how makeup causes acne and causes like breakouts and all forms of blemishes and infirmities of the, on the skin. But most of them don't realize that they are actually using expired makeup products. With beauty products generally, makeup, skincare, a lot of stuff, they have what is called a shelf life and they also have a period after opening life. The shelf life is basically how long a product is allowed to be on the shelf of a store for until they chuck it out if it hasn't been sold. The period after opening life is basically what you would see on the packaging of the product itself so you usually see like a jar which says 6m or 12m or 11m or whatever number m and that just tells you how many months you can use that product for after you've opened it for the first time now this is always an estimate so the product may actually expire a little earlier or a little later than the date that is actually given which is why it's very important for you to know the smell of your products the texture of your products so anytime you open up your product and you see that it's going a little bit off you know that it's starting to expire also a lot of environmental factors go into the expiration of makeup products for example if you have put it in the fridge when it's supposed to be at room temperature if you are kept in a really hot environment all these could actually affect the expiration date of the product itself so I'll just give you an example. This is my Black Up Foundation. And if you look closely, if the camera would focus, you just see a jar there. And it just states how many months the foundation is valid for after opening. And this foundation is supposed to be valid for 12 months after opening. I'm just going to squeeze it out a bit for you guys. The foundation has a bit of a grainy texture on it which it shouldn't have so that shows that obviously this foundation is definitely definitely expired i decided to film this video because i realized that a lot of my friends and family use expired makeup products and they don't even know that it's expired or they don't even know that makeup products actually expire so i thought hmm, maybe a lot of people actually don't know that makeup products expire so we're just going to be putting a bunch of my expired products to the test See if they still perform the way they're supposed to even though they're expired or see if the products have gone a little bit off. This is just an experimental video. Please do not try this at home. I'm not liable for anybody's face catching fire or anybody having pimples or anything like that because I've already warned you, you should not be using expired products. It causes acne, breakouts, blemishes. It can even cause skin infections. So don't don't use expired makeup products i'm just using myself as an experiment for you guys so you guys can actually see this listen guys my skin hasn't been the best but i'm still putting it to the test for you guys the skincare routine i'm going to do tonight is going to be mad it's just a really really fun video and i just want us to just chill and have fun while i am doing this so without further ado let's jump straight into the video and we can test out all the expired products i have here Alright guys, so basically I don't have anything for brows, so I'm going to quickly jump off camera, go and do my brows, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm done with my brows, and this is just what they look like. So now we're going into eyes, and I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. I bought this primer potion over a year ago, I'm sure it's over a year ago now. The expiry date says um, 6 months. So this is definitely, definitely expired. Squeezing it out, it seems a bit like, I don't know, joy. Like, the thing is acting like okra. So yeah, I'm just going to apply that to my eyelid to prime my eyes. Guys, it feels like lotion on my eyelids. 
I don't feel like it's priming anything because it's just sliding around my eyelids like okra. That is the eyeshadow primer potion on this eyelid. I don't feel it getting tacky, which it used to do. So I think this is a fail. I'm just going to put it on the other eye for good measure. But this is definitely expired and it's definitely not doing what it is supposed to do. I'm just going to give that a few seconds to absorb, but I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my concealer because that didn't work out. Now that my eyes are all primed with my concealer, I have two eyeshadow palettes I'm going in with today. The first one is this sleek Eye Divine Ultra Matte Palette. I don't know if you guys remember when I first started my channel right i did a spring makeup look and i used this palette and that was when i got this palette so it's been over a year as well eyeshadows and powders don't expire as quickly as other face products or eye products but they do also expire and i've had this palette for over a year even though it doesn't have a period after opening date on it i feel like it probably is expired but just for good measure, I also brought out my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Period after opening on this, says 12 months right there. I've definitely had this for about two years now, so this is definitely expired. The thing I'm going to do is go into this shade here called Sandalwood, and it's just a light brown shade. And I'm going to just use that as my transition shade. I'm going into this purple shade from here. And I'm just going to place that underneath that transition shade. Now I'm just making sure I blend out that shade really, really smoothly and evenly. So after putting that um, purple shade on my eyes, I realized that I actually want to use this pink shade here called Flamingo to feather out the purple shade. And use it to feather out the edges of the purple shade. I liked the palette. Like, I really, really like the palette, actually. Like, I like the shades in it and stuff. And it used to be my holy grail, like... So now I'm going to go ahead and carve out my lid. I'm going to go ahead and place this bright green shade at the outer corner of my lid. Just like that. And I'm just blending it as I'm placing it there. I'm going to take this greenish golden shade called 2K and I'm just going to place that at the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just going to make sure that I blend those two shades together nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on my other eye. Alright guys, so that is my eyeshadow done on both eyes i really like this look i don't know why i think it's you know really vibrant and it's just like very different from like what i would usually do for primer i'm using the l'oreal infallible mattifying base and this says on the back that it's supposed to be valid for 12 months but i've had this primer actually for over two years it's coming out in the regular gel like consistency that the primer comes in and it like has a silicone base it smells normal and it just is gliding on like normal it just feel expired i guess that's a thumbs up for foundation i have two foundations i'm going to be using today first one is the mac mac master foundation and this foundation is one of the first foundations i used to use when i first started my makeup journey it was one of my favorite brands in the entire world and their foundations were the best thing ever for me and this says it's supposed to be valid for 24 months but i've had this foundation for over four years now so that's well over two years after its expiry date after i got over my mac hype and i started actually getting into doing makeup for other people i started using the black up full coverage cream foundation this says that it's supposed to be valid for 12 months and i've had this foundation for over three years so it's well over two years out of its period after opening date now when i used to use these foundations hmm, shout out to my friends that told me that my foundation was too light for me 
at the time i thought eh you can't even, you can't talk to me you can't sit with me because my makeup game was you know it was on another level but guys let me just show you let me swatch the shade of this foundation for you so you can see that was the shade you can't even see that it's too light on my hand and when i used to use my mac foundation it was too dark for me guys i was so terrible at color matching myself with foundations the undertone was so so red for me look at the two foundations i used to use all over my entire face guys none of them was my shade that's what foundations look like mixed the undertones are wrong the shades are wrong like everything about the foundation is just wrong and i already told you guys that the black of foundation has a grainy texture so it doesn't feel the way like it used to feel when i first got it this foundation is so light you guys oh my god i can't believe i'm actually putting this on my face i actually used to put this all over my entire face that's all right that's all right we move the mac foundation has a weird smell now these products are fully expired. Both foundations dry down pretty quickly. Like it's not tacky, it's not transferring. I'm not feeling it on my skin. So now we're going into concealer. First of all, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a really, really, really light shade of concealer as well. But I've had this concealer for about four years now and it should only be valid for six months. It's way too light for me. So I'm going to mix in that concealer with the NYX HD studio photogenic concealer it's supposed to be valid for six months as well if you remember when i did my full face of nyx makeup products video on my channel that's when i actually purchased this concealer and it's been well over a year so it's definitely expired because <laughs> this concealer is quite you know neutral toned and not as light as the maybelline Guys, there's something I've realized about like expired face products is that they dry down quickly. So basically my foundation dried down really, really quickly and now the concealers are actually drying down quickly as well. If your products are drying down like really, really fast, more than they usually would, then it's probably expired. I can see a bit of a gray undertone underneath my eyes and I think that's because of the NYX concealer i'm going to go in with my laura mercier translucent setting powder in shade medium d and this is one of my favorite favorite setting powders it says it's supposed to be valid for 12 months this should just actually in all honesty be expiring so i think i've had this for about a year and four to six months i don't remember for eyeliner i'm going to be using this vital waterproof dip eyeliner in the shade black and this is just a random eyeliner i got from my beauty supply store the eyeliner says it's supposed to be valid for six months i've had this for well over two years now so it's definitely expired do you guys think i should do a wing comment down below are you wing gang or no wing yeah guys so i ended up with a wing i'm clearly wing gang <laughs> well i used to be wing gang but these days i'm not really into eyeliner even so so i'm going to now go ahead and put this shade from the huda beauty palette called man eater on my bottom lash line there's actually a lot of fallout so now that i'm done with that i'm just going to go ahead and pop on my lashes i've gone ahead and popped on my lashes and they're just so sweet by susan jackson lashes in the style taylor and no they're not expired lashes don't expire if you guys have watched me from the beginning you know that this is one of my holy grails it's the sleek contour kit and yeah this contour kit has seen life with me it just has a contour shade and a highlight shade and at the back it says it should be valid for 24 months but i've had this for about four years now such a jacked up palette I miss using the like contour and highlight shade in this palette. I remember when I first started out my makeup journey and I didn't like want to buy like a highlight product and a contour product. I felt like this was like so much value for my money because I felt like I was getting both like in one. And I always advise people like if you're just starting out like it's good to like get dual products like this because it gives you a lot of value for your money. And you don't want to go ahead and spend like all your coins just buying different things when you can actually get it in like a bundle deal and i'm also using an nyx blush and this is in the shade bronzed 
and it's one of those blushes that have a bit of shimmer in it and i got this when i was doing my full face of nyx product and it says it's supposed to be valid for six months you guys know that i've had that video up for almost two years now so yeah definitely definitely expired so i'm just going to go ahead and place the blush on my uh-uh whoa whoa this blush is still doing its job guys i like how it gives you like a really subtle sheen with like really subtle color i love this blush you guys wow so yeah guys i'm going into mascara and i'm going to be using the laura gela drama lash maximum volumizing mascara it says it's supposed to be valid for six months but i've had this for about a year oh guys you know what's happening i'm noticing that the concealer is creasing in my under eye and then for highlights i'm going to be going into my anastasia beverly hills glow kit and this is the first glow kit in the shade that glow i don't know if you guys remember this glow kit and i got every other glow kit after that really love anastasia glow kit i didn't really like the shades in this one if i'm being honest because i feel like they all had weird undertones for my skin tone but then they came out with a glow kit that was supposed to be for deeper skin tones and it's called ultimate glow and that's what this one is the one i'm going to be using is this one it says on the back that it's valid for 12 months but i've definitely had it for over two years so i'm just going to be mixing golden bronze and sunburst together but yeah it used to be one of my favorites now for lips i'm just going to line my lips with um a lip liner and going back into my expired products i'm going to be using this nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade milan this says it's supposed to be valid for 18 months but i've had it for well over 24 months so i'm definitely just going to be placing that on the inner corner of my lips and yeah guys that is it for my look i really hope you liked it i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching if you made it up to this point you're a real og comment down below real og <laughs> anyway guys um thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up also don't forget to comment down below share this video with all your friends enemies sisters brothers moms dad family neighbors cousins colleagues at work gate men anybody you meet on the road also if you haven't subscribed don't be part of the 50 percent of people that come to watch my videos but don't subscribe please 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 don't we want to have you part of this family because we love you so much so yeah click the subscribe button down below and also don't forget to click the bell button so you never miss any video i post and yeah guys i will see you in my next I one bye down, to your bed can you stay a while? Keep me by your side. Fill my scattered heart. Fix me, I say.